This time of uncertainty has brought about fear and anxiety in some people, not knowing when things will be back to normal, not knowing what to say when their kids ask when they can go back to school, not knowing what events to plan ahead. We just don't have many answers these days. Let us become people that show love, grace, and understanding. Let's lift them up in prayer and be a source of trust. For some people, it has brought an awakening. We have seen an increase of people share encouragement to others using different methods. It has been beautiful to witness. These are people who has never done this a year ago. But a shift is happening. God is moving and people are being awakened and thrusted into their purpose. Let's support each other. If you see somebody stepping out of their comfort zone, show them love. If you see them struggling but still moving forward, show them love. We have had the honor of having some amazing people mentor us and pray over us. We always seek to do the same for others. We are not in competition with one another. We are to walk in harmony in alignment with God's plan. Each one of us has an assignment. Each one of us has a spiritual gift. Are we using it to glorify God and to share His message of hope and love? Even if you think you don't, you do. And even if you think you can't, you can. And even if you think God won't use you, He will. Here is something I feel led to pray. Father God, thank you for being a God who is inclusive and not exclusive. I thank you that you intricately design each and every one of your children with a purpose and a gift. I ask you to reveal it to them in a way that doubt or fear cannot overshadow it. Draw your people closer to you. Awaken them. Give them the boldness in Christ to go deeper than they ever have with you. I thank you that you don't disqualify us according to our sins, but you qualify us according to your love. We love you, Lord, and thank you for who you are. In your holy name we pray. Amen.